Hello? Are you working? Hello? Oh, we are vlogging on my old vlogging camera, guys. I had to dig it out of its grave. It's all busted and crusted. It's all scratches on the screen and everything. I was really, really debating on whether to even vlog this week because I was like, the quality was just so, so bad. Honestly, it kills me so much to know that my quality is downgraded. And guys, we can't be downgrading, okay? It's 2020. We need to be going up. But I literally just washed my face and I'll have this spot here, guys. Look at this one. Whitehead. Oh, this is why I hate this camera because the focus is so shit. But look at this spot, guys. Oh, let's try pop it together. If it squirts on the screen, I am so sorry. Oh, I think I got it out. Ah! <laughs> I've actually been using this product again recently. I've been really noticing a difference on my skin. I used this a couple years ago. I finished it and it was just one of those things that I just never repurchased. So this product is from Cosrx and I got it from Yes Style. It was really, really affordable as well. It's the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I feel like it's definitely kind of cleaned out my nose a little bit, which is really, really cool. So today is such an exciting day because the dogs are coming over. Me and Grant are gonna be dog sitting today and the weather looks so, so good so we are going to be taking them to the park even though I have so much work to do I need to edit so much stuff I'm just like no I need to enjoy my life as well and I feel like everyone else is enjoying their bank holiday living their best life and I'm just like hunched over by their PC so today I'm going to be enjoying it I'm not going to feel guilty I say that to myself but inside I'm like who bitch you're so behind on work but it's gonna be a good day today, guys, okay? I'm putting it out in the universe. Today is gonna to be a start of a great week. <laughs> okay, guys, I am ready now. I've done a bright lip today. I feel like I haven't done a bright lip in so long. Look who we have here. Hello, say hello to the vlog. Chanel, you haven't been on the vlog in so long. Oh my God, I miss her so much. A little thing that's always gonna love you and always be cute, you know? Except for the time where they shit downstairs or you accidentally step on it. But apart from that, I miss having a dog so much. Hello there, Coco and Chanel, hello. Bike riding throughout the park and there is so many people here. They are getting so much attention every single time we ride past. Everyone's like, oh my God, two little dogs in a basket. <laughs> Oh my god guys, so we just finished a really really long bike ride. I am so oily and shiny. Look at my makeup. Clearly the Pat McGrath foundation does not last well on oily skin. But I just load up the cars in the back. The doggies loved it. I'm not gonna lie guys. I honestly had a glimpse in my future of what it's like having two kids. It's a lot of responsibility, you know? Like they were thirsty. I had to make sure they're sitting out in the shade so they didn't burn. I can't even imagine what it's like being responsible for two human beings. I could barely look after two dogs. It's weird because the park was so busy and it felt like a little glimpse of what it's like to be a normal human being and not working all the time. You know when they say fresh air? I never really understood it, but today I felt the fresh air. So yesterday you guys saw that we had like a day off or whatever because it was bank holiday and all this shit. And now I'm so behind on work. I literally have no Instagram videos. We need to make sure this YouTube video is edited and this guy is just so slow at editing. He takes breaks every 2.5 seconds. I don't know if it's just me guys, but I need to have something playing in the background. I can't do anything in silence guys. I am such like a multitasker. I need to be watching something, either a YouTube video or a Netflix show or something while I'm doing my makeup, while I'm editing, while I'm doing anything. Painting my nails, doing a shit, anything. <laughs> Anyways, I started this new TV show called Money Heist. I'm watching it by myself and I've been trying to listen with these stupid AirPod Pros. I don't know what's wrong with my damn ears, guys, but these AirPods are so painful and they literally fall out of my ears every 1.5 seconds. These are like really expensive as well. These are like 250 pounds. I don't know why it doesn't fit in my ear, but it just keeps falling out. It's like my ears are destined to be poor, you know? It's mine perfectly. You got bougie ears? Quarantine has taught me that I don't have to go out to vlog. Like, I can just vlog at home and hopefully you guys still like the content. I don't know. You guys know that we dropped our vlogging camera. So I ended up pulling out this old crusty vlog camera that is broken. The screen is like flapping for dear life. The lens, sometimes it opens and closes. It's just not cute, guys. Anyways, we have this other camera right here. 
that we can use for vlogging so i'm going to switch over to this vlogging camera instead and hopefully you guys can hear the improvement of the quality of audio hopefully it'll be more crisp and clear and we can finally put this camera to work this is grand's old camera that we used to use for outfit of the day photos obviously you don't want to vlog this fat old lens so we're going to put this baby mini lens we can put our microphone on it that's where the good audio comes from can you see the scratch marks there do you know why? Because you dropped it, didn't you? You dropped this camera too. You got fluff on your brows. Finally finished work now and it's 6pm. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, I've been addicted to money heist. Oh, it's been so bad, guys. I literally stayed up until 4am yesterday watching money heist. It's been such a long time since I found a TV show that I was hooked. This camera is so annoying because can you guys see that the screen flips down at the bottom? So I literally can't see myself at all, which is a little bit annoying. I don't know if I'm in frame. So guys, I was literally just on the phone to my sister and she is so funny. Me and her are so similar. Like when we have something in our minds, there's nothing that can stop us. She has been going on and on and on about this kitchen transformation that she wants to get done. She's going to spend a whole week repainting all of her cabinets because at the moment they're like a brown colour. She wants it to be white. I literally just called her and the project is nearly done and she started yesterday evening. She said to me that she's gonna stay up all night and she's gonna finish off as much as she can and I'm just like why are we like this? Normal people when they want to do something they'll take their time you know go with the flow maybe do a couple hours a day go back and do their normal life whereas me and my sister like once we have something in our head there's nothing else that we can think about. Similar like that money heist thing normal people will just watch one episode a day but no bitch when it comes to me and I'm invested and I'm hooked I'm gonna watch it all night long girl. Guys I've literally been rubbing my eyes so badly and I think I've been doing it in my sleep because I I've been getting like scabs where my nail must be digging in while I'm sleeping. When I'm itching, it feels so good. My toes are all curled up like. <laughs> Did you guys ever used to do this before when you're younger? Whenever you put eye drops in, you'd pretend like you're crying. <laughs> do you think this is what Laura Lee done when she done her apology video? the shade. I just saw on the internet that there's an update from our Prime Minister and he said that he's going to be reopening up shops and also I think restaurants. Shout out to all my Gemini's girl. Hopefully we can go shopping for our birthday presents, you know. My birthday is on the 11th of June. Where's all the Gemini's at? Put your birthdays down below. I'm going to cook Greg some dumplings for his dinner tonight with some noodles. So for anyone else out there that misses restaurants, you guys need to pick this up i picked this up from my local asian supermarket i feel like a lot of japanese restaurants they don't even make the dumplings themselves they literally just buy this and fry it up and they'll literally charge you seven pounds for four dumplings whereas you can buy yourself a whole bag of them for five pounds if you're terrible at boiling eggs like me you guys need to get this little timer thing it's from amazon and it'll tell you when to take their eggs out i don't like it when my eggs are really runny so i do them like a hard medium and this little timer timer thing it will tell you when to take it out so this is the egg timer the eggs are done gonna pour the eggs out of the hot water it's steamy hush, hush 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 if you are from an asian household everyone would have a red sieve like this so i'm just putting some cold water on the eggs so that the eggs stop cooking so this is what we're having for dinner tonight guys instant noodles the struggle is so real ah! gonna put about six dumplings well, I guess that will do. So we're gonna pan fry these for about two minutes. This is that multitask at its finest, guys. Cooking dumplings, boiling eggs while vlogging. I like my dumplings a bit crispy, so I kind of flip the dumplings. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour half a cup of water in here. It's gonna sizzle really, really bad. So you meant to cover this up with a lid, but I don't have a lid for my frying pan. So I'm literally gonna use another wok. This is how I know we're true friends, guys. I'm showing you guys the truth. Okay, this is the ratchet way. Putting a wok on top of a frying pan as a lid. Okay, and voila, this is our dinner for tonight. We got dumplings on a bed of noodles with some boiled egg. And then Grang likes a bit of sriracha. So we're just gonna do like a light drizzle of chili sauce. This is optional, of course. 
Yum. That is my broke boy dinner. I'm in the ghetto. I don't know why this lens is so dirty. I can't even see my screen at the moment. So hopefully I'm in frame. But damn, why is this lens so dirty? Oh my God, that just made it worse. Okay, I've got my handy dandy lens wipes. When we're old and grey together, I'll be wiping ass. Ah, nice and fresh. I feel like slowly we're getting closer and closer on these vlogs. And I remember when I first started vlogging, I was like, oh, should I show them this? Or I don't want no one to judge me because... I don't know, like, when you're an influencer, you feel like you need to, like, be the best at everything. You need to have, like, really expensive things. And that's just not my lifestyle, guys. I eat processed foods. I am not a good cook. And for the longest time, I felt like, oh, I had to show, like, the best side of myself. And slowly throughout the process, I just showed you a little bit more of, like, the crazy tweet, you know, the ratchet tweet and I read in the comments that you guys seem to really like it I don't know hopefully you guys are not judging me you know I'm not perfect I don't eat organic food I just about have free range eggs that's probably like the most fancy is gonna get up in here so I thought I showed you guys some more chef tweet I showed you guys in a previous vlog how I done my fried rice and you guys seem to really really love it the only thing is guys I'm not gonna lie I am really embarrassed of my kitchen okay like this house that we live in is a council property so it's super super old I literally can't wait until the day that I can buy my mum's home for her and redo all of the kitchen and make everything really really nice for her but until then we have to wash our dishes manually because my kitchen is so small it can't fit in a dishwasher so I'm gonna show you guys how I cook the things that me and Greg eats throughout the week. I am a really, really shit cook, guys. I only just learned how to cook rice like a year ago. And I have a rice cooker and I only just found out how to cook it a year ago. So if I could do it, you guys could do it too. Okay, guys, so we're going to make lunch together because you know my ass cannot go food shopping when I'm hungry. Otherwise, you're going to ravish the whole store and buy the whole snack aisle. And that ain't cute for your wallet or your waistline, girl. I'm gonna show you guys how I cook my roast potatoes. Honestly, guys, I feel like I cook really, really good roast potatoes. I'm not gonna lie. Please do not mind this granite. I hate it so much. It's such an ugly color. It literally looks like it's out of the 70s, okay? But we're just gonna have to make do with that for now. One day we are gonna upgrade and I can't wait till that day that I show you guys a house tour. We'll literally be crying together, I'm sure. So today we're going to be cooking pie. These are so good because you literally just pop them into the oven. I don't eat beef, so I like the chicken and mushroom. You guys can see, it's all nicely done for you. Like, who's got time to make pie from scratch? Okay, the next step is I'm going to use some foil so that the pie doesn't burn. But I'm basically going to wrap up the pies. Oh my God, it's so hard to do one hand. And then I also use a fork and I poke holes inside of the foil. I don't know if you're meant to do this, but I want it to get a little bit crispy at the top of the pie. Okay, so the pies are gonna go inside the oven. I think you're meant to preheat the oven, but YOLO. Who's got time for that? Okay, so while the pies are in the oven, I'm gonna go in and cook my roast potatoes. So I keep doing this for roast potatoes because I actually put in the air fryer. So this is from Tesco's Finest. It's the baby British potatoes. But the main thing that you guys wanna look out for is you wanna find yellow potatoes, okay? It doesn't really matter if it's this one, but you have to look out to see if it's more yellow. The other white potatoes literally tasted like earth. It kind of had like a, a dirt kind of taste to it. Okay guys, so I had to move over to my iPhone because my damn camera died. Why am I having the worst luck with technology these days? So let's just chopped up the potatoes. You want to make sure you chop them into even sized pieces. And I'm just going to pour some hot water. You also want to add a little bit of salt. You will know when the potatoes are done, when you use a fork and you can pierce through the potato. At the moment, it's not breaking up, so it's not done yet. Okay guys, so we're cooking some broccoli as well. I like my broccoli in little small bite-sized pieces like this. Sometimes when I see people eat broccoli, they literally have it like this size, and I'm like, oh hell no girl, I need my broccoli like baby size like this. So I always cut off a bit of the stem because I do not like this bit. I just like the flowery bit. And then I basically cut them into tiny, tiny little halves. And then a little trick that you wanna do is you wanna chop it just a little bit and then break it with your fingers otherwise you'll get bits going everywhere 
So yeah, I'm just gonna chop this up and then I'm gonna boil these right at the end because these are quite quick to cook. Okay, so we're gonna be preparing the gravy now. I'm just adding some onions to caramelize in some olive oil. This is why I'm so bad at cooking, guys. I'm so impatient the oil is not even done and I already chopped in the damn onion. Now you can see my fork is going through easily. So now the potatoes are done. Okay, so I'm gonna season my potatoes before I put in my air fryer. So I'm gonna go in with some garlic pepper. I love garlic, so this is gonna be like garlicky roast potatoes. So just sprinkle some in there. You want to add a little bit more because in a minute we're going to flip it. So it needs to coat all the way around the potatoes. We're also going to add some smoked garlic granules. So I'm going to add some garlic flakes in there. Mm, sprinkle that shit around. Mm -mm. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil just so that it cooks evenly in the pan and it goes a little bit crispy. Oh my god, this is so hard to do one hand, but you want to shake up the potatoes so that all of the mixture is coated. Shake it, shake it, shake it real good. You want the potatoes to look a little bit mashed up like this so that when you put it in your air fryer, it's going to go really, really crispy on the outside and then it's really soft and fluffy on the inside. Okay, so you want to spread out these potatoes in a single layer so that it cooks evenly. This air fryer, I think it's from a brand called Braville. I'm not too sure, but I really want the Philips one, but it's like 200 pounds. But I'm gonna put the timer on for about, I don't know, 25 minutes. And then when it reaches halfway, I'm gonna open up and flip the potatoes around. Okay, so I'm gonna make the gravy. I literally just use Bisto. Oh my God, guys, this is nearly finished as well. So we're literally just gonna dump this all into a little measuring jug thing. I've showed you guys this before, but this is honestly the best thing in my kitchen. I bought it from Virgin Pure. I think it's like £400 or £500. It was a really, really expensive investment, but it instantly gives you hot water and instantly gives you cold water. So I literally just have my little jug here and then I'm just going to press hot water. And then it instantly comes out hot, guys. I don't have to wait for the kettle to boil. How amazing is that? Okay, so now you want to whisk the gravy really, really fast. I'm literally just using a fork. Okay, so this is like the consistency that I like my gravy. Not when it's really, really runny, but I don't like it when it's too thick either. Okay, so I just added my caramelized onions that I cooked earlier in the pan. I low-key burnt the onions, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so while I'm here, I thought I'd show you guys how I prepare my dessert, which is great. My favorite is black grapes, but I can't just have any black grapes. It has to be specifically these type of black grapes, and they don't always do it. Sometimes it says it's black grapes, and then when you get it, it's like tiny little small ones, which is not good. But I know is that when I go to Tesco they have the best grapes out of all the supermarkets. Something Grand purchased a while ago which I am so in love with. I've been using it so much recently. I literally just washed it so it's a bit wet. It is a salad bowl spinner. So I literally just pick the grapes one by one and make sure I take off all of the stem bit and then just chuck it in here. Who wants to be eating grapes and dealing with these stem things? I just want to pick up a grape and pop it in my mouth. So I am really picky when it comes to my fruit. There's some grapes that when you buy them, they're really, really round and they're a little bit see-through and translucent. That's not what you want because they're going to be like the soggy ass grape. The grapes that I like are quite long and it comes to a little bit of a point at the end, if that makes any sense at all. A little trick that my mum told me is that you want to look at these kind of like vines. If it is green, it means that it's been picked recently, but this one has been in my fridge for about a week now and it looks all brown and crusty but when i first got it it was nice and green i'm gonna put some cold water the grapes are washed don't they look so much better so i'm putting it back into the little bowl thing putting the lid on it i bought this from ikea by the way but you can actually get it from amazon literally just type in salad spinner okay so what you want to do is you want to spin your bowl around and it'll get rid of all the excess water you guys see my grapes spinning around? The grapes are probably vomiting from how dizzy it's getting in there. And then I also spin the other way as well to make sure all the water gets out. I try to do this for as long as possible, but if I'm completely honest, I'll probably do it for like 30 seconds. This is all the excess water from the grapes. So I washed the container, I dried it off, and then now I just put the grapes back in and then I leave this into the fridge. So when I want like a cold snack, this is my go-to. Okay guys, so these are the potatoes for 20 minutes. Okay, so I literally just flipped all the potatoes on the other side and then you wanna add a little bit of freshly chopped garlic. If you don't like garlic, you probably won't like this recipe, but I love me some garlic, okay? And you only wanna add the garlic once you flipped it to the other side. If you put it in too early, the garlic will just burn. If you guys don't have a little air fryer like this, you can literally just do it in a normal oven as well. It just takes a little bit longer to make it crispy. And you see it spinning away in all its glory. Potatoes are done. 
Oh my god, they look so good, so crispy, and it smells so nice. I just got my pie out of the oven, it kind of exploded a little bit. So I literally just boiled my broccoli. They want to add some potatoes, more potatoes. Okay, guys, so this is one of the potatoes, so nice and crispy on the outside, and then on the inside, it's so nice and fluffy. Oh, it's so hot. Can you guys see? Okay, guys, so lunch is served. Woohoo! Look at our car right now, guys. The ratchetness is real. <laughs> Grand bought this little center console thing and since he installed it our car keeps dying so he's waiting for an adapter to come I don't know why he decided to buy this even though our car is so old and crusty So babe, yeah. I was reading the comments today and someone was like If you earn so much money why don't you buy a better car? They came for my ass guys It's not polite here man guys about driving the best car as long as we get from a to b that's all that matters my first priority is to buy a house then i want to open up a business and if we've got any money left over then we can buy a nice car but until then we'll just use this little banger you have a brand new car with no money in the bank that's a no go go it's just because you get a little bit of money doesn't mean you should just spunk all your money and just go to louis vuitton and buy yourself a rolex and designer bags and stuff like that that's how people go broke quickly have you guys heard that when people win the lottery they go bankrupt in like five years time because they don't know how to handle their money okay so i don't want no one judging me on how i want to spend my money okay i am a cheap ass bitch and i'm gonna ride that train until i die girl hello guys it is friday and i have finally finished filming this youtube video this look won't be out this wednesday it'll be out next wednesday and it is currently 10 21 at night time and i still have one more youtube video to film i just got a mahusive bag from misguided and i feel like i haven't done a try on haul for so long so i'm gonna film that for wednesday and i am so tired and so hungry i haven't eaten nothing all day but i guess that's good for the haul you know keep the waistline slim for the haul i don't know where my waist is gone guys it's in there somewhere the last couple of days being on social media, guys, it's been really, really hard. I feel like with the whole coronavirus situation happening, that was worse enough. The news about George Floyd, honestly, guys, I've literally been heartbroken all day. Like, every time I go on my social media, it's just like everything's so sad at the moment with the world. And I just think it's just so crazy that the police force is someone that you're meant to look out for when you're in need and for them to treat black people the way that they do i'm just like what like how is that acceptable i feel like i need to use my platform for more than just makeup or vlogs and stuff i need to raise awareness to these crazy issues that's happening around the world and my heart goes out to george floyd and all of his family if you guys haven't seen there's a video going around it was actually really traumatic i couldn't finish it basically there was a white policeman kneeling on George's throat and he was saying that he can't breathe he can't breathe and the guy was literally kneeling so hard and then George unfortunately passed away and it was just so heartbreaking to see and also there was a Asian policeman there which I don't know why guys I don't know when I see other Asian people I'm just like come on like i don't know guys i just feel like it's just so corrupt in this world and i definitely feel like we need to bring justice to this case so there is a petition going down below i will leave the link and even if just one person watches this and they are now more aware of the case i feel like we should always be trying to educate ourselves and it's just so crazy like sometimes we feel like racism is just something in the past or we turn a blind eye to it because they're not directing at us don't stay silent tell your friends sign the petition if you can if you have any money to donate i'm also gonna leave links down below as well i don't know why 2020 is such like a sad chapter like i feel so sorry for anyone that has to study the year of 2020 in the future because it is a hefty ass chapter man there's just like so many things going wrong from the bushfires to covid to kobe losing his life and on top of that we had to pile on racism yeah i just wanted to just share with you guys how i'm feeling at the moment i'm so sorry to leave this vlog on a bit of a downer but yeah i literally need to go and film some more guys my life is filming this is what i have to do if i want a day off tomorrow i have to make sure i bust my ass off throughout the week and then i can have saturday off so thank you so much for watching my videos and watching my ratchet ass cooking please remember to be kind in the comments because i get really scared to show you guys things like what i eat and how i cook and stuff like that because i know there's so many people that are like super healthy and really really good cooks so i feel like oh don't judge me 
because I'm a novice. I don't know anything. I'm so sorry that this week's vlog was all over the place from this camera to my vlogging camera to my iPhone. Like I'm literally just trying to make it work. That's it for this week's vlog, guys. I'll see you in Wednesday's video. Who's ready for a haul? Yes. My future self watching this was going to be like, bitch, stop rubbing your eyes. You're going to get wrinkles. Shall I continue? Shut up, Siri. What are you talking about? Oh my God, I'm so weak. I can't open it. This is my, I'm doing a fat shit face. <laughs> oh, fucking finally, bitch. And I, oh. Why is it do that? Oh, airport down. <laughs> Shoot, cow. I need to get you back for that yawn rate. You got busted. Oh, you want these airpods? Don't dare destroy my airpods. Wait, we? You're disgusting. Why do we need to get spots? Why? Why? So unnecessary. Just like mosquitoes. Why do we need mosquitoes? I think this is officially the worst my room has ever been. It's because I'm filming Instagram videos, YouTube videos, TikToks along the way. Like, who has time to clean as they go? Am I gonna clean it? Hell to the no, bitch.